time in the penthouse suite has come to an end. Um, I'm going to be heading to a little town called Flores in Guatemala today. Um, with the with the transport to get there, it's a lot of changes from from taxis to buses to walking to tuk tuks. So I'm not sure what I'm in for, but I'm sure it's going to be going to be an interesting journey getting there. So I'll grab one last view from the penthouse suite before going, but now it's time to hit the road. Rain, more rain. I tried to hang around in the hostel, waiting for the for the rain to ease up as much as possible. First part of the journey is getting what's called the chicken bus to the border. It's similar to the the buses that I got the other day. Um, so yeah, should be about fifty pence or whatever to get to the border. Pick up some snacks. It's not too far. Ah, okay. The bus should go all the way to the border, but instead it drops you off about three kilometers from the border. Um, and then obviously there's loads of taxi drivers there. Um, you know, it's I, you know I reckon it's done as a way of sort of sharing the sharing the cash out. Um, instead though, I'm going to walk. It's not too far. Um, although the taxi drivers were like, "Well, you can't walk. It's three kilometers." Not far. I think I can walk three kilometers. Got some snacks for the bus journey. Belize exit tax, which is roughly 15 pounds, something like that. Um, and we get to Guatemala. I was asked zero questions, literally nothing. Uh, just walked up, got my passport stamped, and, and walked in. Um, from what I've read, I think I get 90 days in in four countries, which are Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Nicaragua. So Flores is maybe two kilometers up the road from the bus station. I'm going to walk. There's loads of tuk-tuks to go up there. Um, I reckon getting the tuk-tuk would probably be better content, but it's too easy to walk, so I'm going to walk instead. I've noticed already that you know the amount of people out here on motorbikes. There's there's loads of them. So hopefully I'll have no problem in buying myself a motorbike. Flores is a little island to the north of Santa Elena. I need to find an ATM. Hopefully the ATMs here are going to be 
uh, would be better than the ATMs that were in San Ignacio. So like quirky little back streets and colourful buildings around here. The ATM worked but it's probably too dark for you to be able to see me so instead I thought I would just show you the lake instead. stay inside for a minute. All right, the rain's kind of slowed down enough now for me to go back to the hostel. Uh, just talking to the, the people in the restaurant, they're absolutely lovely. So it's actually quite, quite nice that I got trapped in there for like 10 minutes because of the rain. 